Tsunami can... I'd like to welcome you to uh, Mr. Quick's online video lesson. <laughs> Very interesting is missing a subject or a verb. So that means we have a problem here. Uh Hello. Okay. Small class. I like that. Come on in. Yes. Smaller the better. Smaller the better. Come on in. Small, the smaller the better. That means we got rid of the riffraff. The riffraff people who like to fight and all that stuff like that. We got rid of those people. That's good. That's good. Now we can get down to maybe doing something concerning education. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, you know, yesterday we uh, we talked about run-on sentences, and I believe that's where we're going to start today. And uh, yes, yeah, so let us take our notebooks out. We're going to pick right up where we left off at, and we're not going to stop. We're just going to keep on going. Yes. All right. Run-on sentences. Yes. Of course, those are the sentences that go on. Sentences is what we talked about yesterday, and we discussed a few things concerning run on sentences. Basics, which was to talk about what is a clause, and then that set us up for you know being able to uh, discuss examples of sentences. We discussed them, <clears throat> we discussed comma splices and, and how to correct comma splices about uh, uh, freeing trapped run ons and. We, we went over a couple of things yesterday. Yes, yes. We had three sentences that we really got to. So, and then we got to our review on what a run-on sentence is or when a run-on sentence occurs. And yes, and I had you to write some very important notes that was going to help you, you know, with any future exams in discovering or discussing what run-on sentences are. Well, practice time, and we dealt with this first sentence here. I don't think we got past this first sentence. We did? We did three of them? Okay. Yes. What is it? Okay. All right. The headphones? I don't know which one it is. Which one? And that's not true. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. And of course, we decided to make it into. All right? Yes. And it was a common splice. And then we talked about this one. And we decided that we want to put, in fact, conjunction there, yes, right, yes, and then we went on. That was a few, was that a few sentences? Okay, this is where we stopped. And we got through this one, and we decided to add a but, coordinate, and to turn it into two sentences. And then we decided to go here, and that was worth 25 practice sentences, and someone fortunately made it. Yes, I hit him and he bled and be in a coordinating conjunction. Well, here are ways to correct the errors. And this is notes. This is this is some good you notes. Know, separate the two sentences with a period. Use a comma and coordinating conjunction. Such as for and nor but or yet so. Use a semicolon. Use a semicolon and of course an adverb and a comma. Use a subordinating conjunction at the beginning of the first or second independent clause, making it, of course, dependent. Dependent, yes. And with informal writing, link the causes with a dash. But we did not discuss the last one. We did not discuss the last one, and I don't think we are going to discuss the last one. However, you can use a dash 
And in formal writing, that's the key term in this uh, last bit of information for our notes. In informal writing, what you give to me is not informal. It is formal. So we wouldn't use the dash. But if you're writing to your little buddies on the internet and you're just trying to make sure that you practice your uh, writing, then you know you can go ahead and slap the dash in between independent clauses and 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 and, and, and keep typing. But if you're typing it for me, no. Okay. All right, we got that, Ahmed. Really? You condense all that into one sentence? Oh, you got it already. Oh, okay. All right. Very, very interesting. Okay. Actually, you have all of this in your notes already. Yes. Yeah, you should already. This is this is it should be like review. Just making sure that you have it in your notes. But at some point in time, within the last couple of weeks, you should have got this. Okay. Well, so much for run-on sentences. It's not a whole lot to do with this. So uh, we're gonna forget about run-on sentences right now. We have to end a lot of run-on sentence uh, thing. We're doing. Yeah. Get up, 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 get up,